Hi guys, I am Chekwa and I am back with Met XYZ and today we'll still be continuing with analytical geometry of which in this lesson we'll be dealing with how to find an equation of a straight line. To find an equation of a straight line, we have a standard equation which is y is equal to mx plus c and another equation which is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 of which from both equations we have m which is the gradient of a line and to find the gradient we have an equation of a gradient which is uh, equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 of which those are the coordinates of the two points on a straight line. All right, uh, for a, let me just write those equations down. We have y is equal to mx plus c, of which our m is the gradient of the line and our c is the y-intercept of the line. And another equation that we have is y minus y1, it's equal to m into x minus x1, of which m is still the gradient of the line and x1 is to y1 is the coordinate of a point in the line. And another thing, to find the gradient, which is m, we have an equation y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, of which these are the coordinates of the points, of the two points in the, in the, on the line. All right, uh, let's just go straight into, the, into a question and see how we can apply this to find, uh, on how to find an equation of a straight line. All right, suppose we are given... Uh, I'll just erase this to make a space. Suppose we are given two points, which is point A and point B. And we are told to find um, an equation between, of a straight line between those two points. And the coordinate of our point A, which is uh, point A is 3 is to 7. And our point B is 10 is to 21. All right, we have two uh, points on the line, which is point A and B, and we are asked to find the equation of a straight line. We know the first thing now that we are not given a gradient is to find the gradient, which is M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. And then our A, which is 3 is to 7, is equal to X1, Y1. I'm choosing this to be my first point. You can still use B as your first point as long as you keep the consistency when you are going through with the question. All right, and my point B, it will be X2 is to Y2, the coordinate of point B. Then substituting that into this equation, it will be 21 minus 7, which is 14, divided by 10 minus 3, which is 7, and this will give us 2. And then from here, using the equation, the first equation, which is the first method, y is equal to mx plus c, and we have our m already, which is equal to 2, the gradient. Now, what we have to do is to find our unknown, which is uh, the value of c. To find the value of C, we can either use a point A or point B to substitute it into this equation to find the value of C. Now, let's just choose point A to use that to find our value of C. Our Y it will be equal to 7. We already have our M, which is the gradient. There is 2 and our S, it will be 3. So it will be 2 uh, into 3 plus C. Of which C, it will be 7 minus 6, which will be equal to 1. All right, now that we have that, it will be y is equal to mx plus c, of which our m is equal to 2, and our value of c is equal to 1. That means that the y-intercept of this line is uh, 0 is to 1. That will be our y-intercept of the line. All right, uh, having found that, let's use our second method to see if it will be agreeing with the first method on how to find an equation of a straight line. All right, using the second method, it will be... The gradient won't change, it will still be the same, it will be m is equal to 2. Then what we have, we have y, y sorry, it's equals y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. And our m, we already have that it's equal to 2. Then we just have to choose either point A or point B to find the value of y, uh, or to find the value of um, our, our y intercept as well. Then here we have y minus our y1 here it will be 7 it's equals to m which is the gradient we already have that it will be 2 and then we have x minus 3 and uh, then from here we can to find the value of that it will be 2x minus 6 plus 7 of which it will be 2x plus 1 
you see it does agree uh, it's just a confirmation that what we have found using the first method it is indeed an equation of a straight line which is y is equal to 2x plus 1. All right, guys, I hope you understood on how to do this. If you were given two points, the first thing that you have to do is to find the gradient, which is M. And then from there, you can either use the first method or the second method. But then the, the point here is to find the value of the y-intercept. And for this case, we found that our y-intercept is 0 is to 1. Those are the coordinates of our y-intercept. All right, uh, you don't have to use both method unless if you are asked to, you can just even you can just use one of this method, whichever one uh, looks simple to you. All right, let's look at another one and see how to find an equation of a straight line. All right, another question that we have is to find an equation of a straight line given the gradient, which is m, is equal to negative two for this question, and another point on the graph which is uh is three is to eight all right another point is three is to eight all right now that i like the first method which is y is equal to mx plus c you don't have to use both methods as ever as i've already mentioned before guys unless if you are asked to otherwise you can just use either one of the two methods all right y is equal to mx plus c our m we know that is the gradient which is equal to negative two it will be negative two x plus c is equal to y and then from here to find the value of our y intercept we use another point in the graph which is three is to eight and then substituting that this is our x this is our y then we're going to have eight is equal to negative two is to three plus c then it will be eight is equal to negative two by three it will be negative six plus c and c will be equal to 13 14 uh, i'm not sure 14 guys i guess it will be 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 and then from here to substitute back into the equation it will be y is equal to negative 2 plus c of which we now have our value of c which is equal to 14 then this is the equation of our straight line in this in this question all right if you are given the gradient is even more easier the gradient and another point on the graph it's even more easier because you just substitute the gradient and use another point on the graph to find the value of your y-intercept all right let's do another one which is our last question for this lesson okay that will be if you are given uh the gradient again we are given a gradient again for this question which is m is equal to four and another point on the graph is uh, our m. Let me just make it more visible. It is m is equal to 4. And another point on the graph is negative 5 is to 3. And then from here, what we have to do, we have our y equation. The first thing, you write your equation down so that you can see your, your given and from what you are given, which one is missing, the unknowns, and the one that you are given uh, to substitute it into the equation. For this one, we have y is equal to our m is equal to 4, so it will be 4x plus c. And then from here, using another point on the graph to find the value of c, it will be this is our x, this is our y. Then we'll have 3 is equal to 4 into negative 5 plus c, of which uh, this will be 3 again, thus uh, it's negative 20 plus c, so our c, it will be equal to 23. All right, substituting h into this equation, it will be y is equal to 4x instead of c. We now have the value of c is equal to 23. This is the equation of our straight line. All right, guys, I hope you understood everything in this lesson. And if you have any question on how to find an equation of a straight line, please uh, drop a, a comment on our um, on the comment notes and we'll have a follow up on it. On the last lesson, we'll still be doing uh, finding an equation of a straight line, now dealing with more advanced, including the things that we have done already on analytical geometry, like parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and so forth, medians as well, to find uh, the, 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 uh, an equation of a straight line. All right, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to Methods or site so that you can continue to get a notification when we upload videos. Thank you.